Hello everyone. Ever felt like those love handles just won't budge? Wondering about the real science behind it? Today, we're diving deep into the mysteries of love handles, revealing eight transformative tips to help you shed them effectively. From understanding fat retention to breakthrough diet strategies, stay tuned for a treasure trove of information. Let's dive right in. Grasping the Science of Love Handles Love handles, affectionately or begrudgingly named, depending on how you see them, sit snugly above our hips. Now why does this particular spot seem so attracted to fat? It's all in the design. Positioned close to our center of mass, storing fat here is an energy-saving hack our bodies have perfected over eons of evolution. This central location allows our body to carry and maintain this weight with minimal effort, especially when compared to more distant, distal areas, such as our face and hands. So while you might find yourself losing weight from your cheeks or fingers more easily, those love handles might hold out a bit more, firmly resisting your weight loss efforts. But why is this so? Let's dive deeper to uncover the biological intricacies behind these stubborn fat reserves. Dedication is your strongest ally. The intricacies of how our bodies store fat are governed by a mix of factors, with hormonal fluctuations being a significant player. Specifically, the love handle region is influenced by hormones like cortisol, often referred to as the stress hormone. High levels of cortisol can lead to increased fat storage in the abdominal area. Combine this with certain biomechanical characteristics, and you'll understand why this region is a preferred site for fat deposits. When you begin your fitness journey, the rapid changes you witness in areas like your face, arms, and legs are due to their distinct metabolic profiles. For instance, these areas have a richer density of beta receptors, which play a role in facilitating fat loss. In contrast, the waist and love handle region have a higher concentration of alpha receptors, known for resisting fat mobilization. This contrast in receptor distribution can make fat loss appear uneven initially. Given this knowledge, it's imperative not to lose heart when results seem slower around the midsection. Instead of falling into the trap of sporadic efforts, continuous dedication is paramount. Repeatedly halting and restarting only sets you back, while steadfastness, even in the face of slower progress, will lead to the results you desire in the long run. Drawing from a deeper understanding of body fat and its link to our dietary choices, the role of sugars, especially the types we consume frequently, becomes particularly pivotal. It's common knowledge that excessive sugar intake isn't ideal for our health. However, what's less commonly understood is the distinction between different types of sugars. Simple sugars or free sugars are predominantly found in items we often crave. Carbonated drinks, candies, baked goods, and many commercial food products. These sugars are rapidly digested and absorbed, leading to swift spikes in blood sugar and insulin levels. Over time, habitual overconsumption can result in a consistent caloric surplus, which the body then conveniently stores as adipose tissue, contributing to areas like love handles. Contrastingly, natural sugars found in fruits are a far better alternative. Why? Fruits don't just provide natural sweetness, they're nutrient powerhouses. They deliver dietary fiber, which is integral for digestive health and helps prolong feelings of fullness. This helps curb overeating, making it easier to maintain a calorie deficit. Additionally, fruits are low in calorie density. This means you can consume a more substantial volume without overloading on calories, which is beneficial for those aiming to shed weight. Beyond that, fruits are a rich source of essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, which fortify the body against a myriad of health issues. By making a conscious shift from processed, sugary treats to wholesome fruits, and other whole foods, you're not just taking a step toward reducing those pesky love handles, but also investing in a holistic and vibrant health journey. Continuing from our discussion on the importance of reducing simple sugars and emphasizing whole foods, delving deeper into the concept of calorie density brings another layer to our understanding of effective dietary strategies. Calorie density refers to the number of calories in a given volume of food, Think of it as a measure of how packed a food is with calories. While some foods may be small yet dense with calories, others provide substantial volume without loading you with excessive energy. 
This is where the magic of low calorie density foods comes into play. Consuming such foods allows you to eat more substantial portions, feel satisfied, and yet stay within your daily caloric limits. A prime example of this is vegetables. With their high water and fiber content, they offer a satisfying eating experience without contributing significantly to your calorie count for the day. These properties, combined with the plethora of essential micronutrients they provide, make vegetables a cornerstone of a weight loss friendly diet. Lean meats, while also being nutrient dense, bring quality protein into the mix. Protein is renowned for its ability to induce satiety, ensuring you feel full for extended periods, reducing the likelihood of overeating. And let's not forget whole grains. These powerhouses, in their unrefined form, provide a combination of fiber, minerals, and vitamins. The complex carbohydrates within them break down slowly, stabilizing blood sugar levels and ensuring a steady energy release. Recent studies have solidified the connection between low calorie density foods and weight loss success. By consistently integrating these foods into your meals, you're not only strategically moving towards your weight loss goals, but also ensuring that your body receives the nourishment it deserves. Building upon the earlier discussion about love handles and nutritional strategies, we'll delve deeper into a complementary approach to addressing these stubborn fat stores, leveraging muscle metabolism. Remember, love handles aren't just a result of diet alone. The body's muscle composition plays a direct role in how and where fat gets stored. Our muscles are more than just tools for movement. They're active metabolic entities. Here's where it gets even more fascinating. Even during periods of inactivity, our muscles are constantly burning calories, contributing to what's called the resting metabolic rate, RMR. This rate pertains to the calories expended to uphold essential body functions, and muscle mass is a chief contributor. Now, how does this connect to love handles? As you enhance your muscle mass, especially around the abdominal and oblique regions, you enhance your body's ability to burn fat in adjacent areas, including the notorious love handles. Furthermore, muscle tissue has the intrinsic capability to store glycogen, a form of energy derived from carbohydrates. With a higher muscle mass, your body can accommodate more glycogen. The advantage here is twofold. Firstly, it prevents excess glucose from lingering in the bloodstream, which, if left unchecked, may be converted into fat. Secondly, by working on muscles surrounding the love handle region, you're directly challenging and burning fat in that area. Research published in the Journal of Applied Physiology highlights the significance of strength training in improving body composition, noting that even without dietary intervention, resistance training affects favorable changes in muscle mass and fat mass. While aerobic exercise is invaluable for overall cardiovascular health, it's strength training that proves paramount for those targeting specific areas, such as love handles. To capitalize on muscle metabolism's fat-burning potential, especially around the waist, incorporate targeted strength training exercises. These can range from free weights, resistance bands, to focused body weight exercises like side planks and Russian twists. By doing so, you're not only sculpting a stronger core, but actively combating the very factors that contribute to the formation of love handles. In essence, a holistic approach that combines dietary wisdom with targeted physical activity is your best strategy against those stubborn love handles. Expanding on our comprehensive strategy against love handles, let's pivot to a more accessible form of physical activity, walking. Many tend to overlook this fundamental exercise, but its efficacy in the realm of fat burning and general health is truly commendable. Walking as an aerobic activity stands as a cornerstone in many weight loss journeys. One of its outstanding benefits is that it provides a delicate balance between calorie burn and energy exertion, meaning that it helps you shed those calories without inducing an overwhelming sense of hunger afterward, a common aftermath of more intense workouts. This is a key factor to consider as managing hunger can streamline your journey to reducing love handles by ensuring you don't compensate for exercise by overeating later. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition sheds light on walking's potential. It highlighted that individuals who included walking into their daily routine not only benefited from the direct calorie burning effect of the activity itself, but also experienced increased post-exercise energy expenditure. 
This afterburn effect means that even after your walking session concludes, your body continues to burn calories at an elevated rate. Translating this into actionable advice, consider swapping periods of prolonged sitting or inactivity with walking. If you're working a desk job or often find yourself stationary, set reminders to take short walking breaks. These mini breaks can accumulate over the day, leading to a significant increase in calories burnt. Even incorporating an hour of brisk walking daily can significantly impact your overall caloric expenditure over weeks and months. Furthermore, beyond just the direct calorie burn, walking has a ripple effect on our well-being. It enhances circulation, aids digestion, and even offers mental relaxation. Each step taken is not just a stride towards reducing those pesky love handles, but also towards holistic health. Building on the holistic approach to health and weight loss that we've been delving into, another intriguing strategy to explore, especially when targeting those stubborn love handles, is the Matador diet approach, scientifically known as intermittent energy restriction. The underlying principle of the Matador diet revolves around a rhythmic dance of calorie consumption, much like the intricate steps of a Matador in the bullfighting arena. Instead of maintaining a consistent calorie deficit every day, as is typical in most diets, this approach encourages individuals to intersperse periods of calorie restriction with intervals where they eat at maintenance levels. The idea is that these breaks or refeeds can help in resetting some metabolic pathways that often adapt and slow down when constantly exposed to reduced caloric intake. A study conducted and published in the International Journal of Obesity throws light on the efficacy of this approach. Researchers found that participants who employed intermittent energy restriction not only lost more weight, but also preserved their muscle mass better than those who maintained a continuous calorie deficit. This is crucial because, as we previously discussed, muscle plays a vital role in metabolism and overall body composition. One of the notable advantages of the Matador diet is the psychological relief it offers. Sticking to a strict daily calorie deficit can be taxing and might lead to feelings of deprivation. By incorporating breaks or maintenance periods, the journey becomes more manageable and less monotonous, making long-term adherence and success more achievable. Furthermore, intermittent energy restriction can potentially optimize hormonal balance with favorable alterations in hormones like leptin and ghrelin, which play pivotal roles in hunger and satiety. This can be a game changer, especially when aiming to reduce fat storage in problematic areas like the love handles. So, as you embrace walking and strength training, consider marrying them with dietary strategies like the Matador diet to harness synergistic benefits. Continuing with our comprehensive approach to addressing love handles, it's essential to debunk a widely held myth, the promise of spot reduction through targeted exercises. Many fitness enthusiasts and even some trainers advocate for specific workouts to burn the fat in localized areas, such as love handles. However, scientific research suggests otherwise. The idea of spot reduction is rooted in the belief that exercising a specific muscle will selectively burn the fat covering that muscle, but our bodies don't quite work that way. According to a study published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research, performing leg exercises did not result in a significant reduction of fat in the leg area compared to the rest of the body. The fat loss was generalized, reinforcing that our bodies determine where fat is metabolized, irrespective of the muscles we exercise. When you think about it logically, our body draws energy from the bloodstream, not directly from the fat overlying a working muscle. The fat stores from various parts of the body release fatty acids into the bloodstream and these are utilized wherever they're needed regardless of the muscle being worked on. Thus, while it's tempting to think doing hundreds of side crunches will melt away your love handles, a holistic approach is far more effective. This means focusing on a balanced diet, as discussed with strategies like the Matador diet, combined with a workout regimen that emphasizes total body strength and cardiovascular training. Remember, exercises should be viewed primarily as tools for muscle building and overall health enhancement with diet playing a pivotal role in fat reduction. By emphasizing global fitness and nutrition strategies, you'll not only be better positioned to shed those love handles, but also to achieve a harmonious, well-toned physique. All right, folks, 
I hope you found these insights on love handles and effective fat reduction strategies valuable. Remember, consistency, knowledge, and holistic health are the keys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up.